Hello guys, hope you're enjoying and staying safe during the isolation. I've not done many things recently on the YouTube, so I guess I'm gonna jump in because I've got possibly months to kill. I don't know. Obviously, there's a lot to talk about with the, the whole crisis around the world. Um, it's affecting everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, but we're gonna beat it. That's the main point. Um, and to do that, I have to stay home. Um, home for me right now is my halls, my student halls, to which everyone has evacuated and I am alone in, um, but it's fine. Um, for those who don't know, the UK went into a three week lockdown, possibly longer, um, which is fun. For me, I'm not a stranger to a kind of lockdown scenario. I was alone in my halls over Christmas and New Year's. Um, for several reasons but that's nothing like this like I could go out I could go for a run I could I was at work um, most days over Christmas uh, but overall that experience was quite lonely and that really affected my mental health so really the challenge here is getting through three weeks of solid no human contact um, and keeping sane and keeping active and so I'm going to try and um, do these videos and entertain you in some fashion with my rambling, with my name rambling, like I used to do back in the day. But I'm getting old now. I don't know. I'm alone. I've got, I've got nothing. I've got no social interaction. But it's a weird feeling. Work is shut down, and and uni has shut down. And so, for the first time in a good six years, seven years. I'm here left with nothing to do. I'm here left with nothing to... No urgency is what I'm getting at. I've got things I could do. There's many things I can do and many things on my list of things to do that I'm not doing. Um, there's no urgency for the first time in my life. There's no, I need to get up at a certain time to go to work. I need to get up at this time to go to uni this day, this day and this day. There's, it's, I wake up whenever I want and then it's a, a whole free day for me to do whatever I want and it's the same day in, day out and it's going to be like that for the next three weeks or so. And I've always been in a, in a very heavy routine of uni every day, work every weekend and working after uni as well during the weekdays. I've never had like massive days off and I hardly take days off and I was feeling a massive burnout before the before this lockdown like in March, early March, I was feeling massive burnout from the amount I was working and going to uni and doing at uni and all that stuff. I don't know. It's it's a weird feeling not having to get up and go, um, not having to not having the urgency to get things done by a certain time to get go somewhere by a certain time. I can just kind of I have chance to do the things that I used to enjoy, um, but don't have time to do anymore like this, like talking to a camera, like playing games. I've not played games in months. Like, I tend to just watch them on YouTube when I have a bit of free time because I don't have time to play games and sit there. Last night, I, I was sat there, it's probably very unhealthy, but I was sat there for eight hours, eight hours straight, just playing games. And it was glorious and I was awake till seven in the morning. Again, not good. I woke up at 3 p.m. today. But, like, that kind of freedom I've not had since since I was a kid. <laughs> since, like, well, even when I was a kid, I was at school. Um, so it's a very, it was a very strange feeling. I can only imagine a lot of people are feeling the exact same. Um, feeling that kind of confusion as to what to do. You're so sort of stuck into a routine that you're like, what do I do now? Where do I go? How do I spend my day? How do I... How do I interact with the things around me? Because you know it's the same things around me. I've, I just, it's it's a weird it's a weird feeling. Although for for me, thankfully, I work for a good company and they are keeping my pay at full pay for a month and then onto the eighty percent afterwards. Um, so for me, I don't have as much financial issue. And my accommodation and uni has told me we don't have to pay for the third term of accommodation because a lot of people have just naffed off home. So that's good. Financially, I've not been massively impacted negatively in with with this whole the cold COVID thing. However, I know a lot of people who are 
not able to work, not able to go to uni, not able to do this and that. And a lot of people who their work is their livelihood is their everything. It's not only a strange feeling waking up and not being able to do what you do and do well and love doing, but there's that financial uncertainty. And I know a lot of people, personal friends of mine who are self-employed artists, self-employed um, musicians, do gigs and all this kind of stuff. And a lot of their income comes through going around and doing gigs. Um, and since they can't do that, like they've been kind of left in the shit and the government I think have brought through some some ways of helping people who are self-employed, but the payments that they're gonna get, the universal credit I think, or something like, so along those lines, might be delayed until June. <laughs> and like, what are they supposed to do financially to support themselves, to feed themselves? I mean, it's it's a bit of a mess. This is an unprecedented event and we've got to kind of just adapt and I think that's what the human race does best. We adapt and we overcome. So it's a, it's a hard time, it's a strange time, it's a very uncertain time. Um, there's a lot of negativity in the world, there's a lot of, there's a lot of death, there's a lot of illness. Um, personally for me, I am an asthmatic diabetic and I am up there, up there on that high risk um, scale, maybe not as much as like elderly or people with forms of cancer and um, cystic fibrosis, but if I do get it, especially with how severe it's, it's being, there is a, a serious risk to my health and to my life, which for me is to put a down around this whole thing, um, as I always do in my videos. Being trapped in a room and isolated and alone is one thing. I did that over December. Um, I did that over Christmas and New Year's. That was that was fine. It affected my mental health a little, but it was all right. Being trapped and alone with no one around me, with no physical support or contact with family or friends, um, being very much alone in the situation, uh, bar from social media messaging, and having my life at risk, <laughs> like. Is a very, it's a very scary thought, it's a very real thought. Um, it's a very hard time for people who are vulnerable, who are at risk. Seeing the death counts go up every day and knowing that if you do get it, you are gonna add to that is as much of a bad thought to have, is a very real thought and a real worry um, in a lot of people's minds and in my mind, but hopefully with the social distancing, uh, with the self-isolation, the lockdown, we can help flatten that curve and we can all stay safe and hopefully we will. Because um, as I said, we, we adapt, we overcome. As far as my day-to-day -day routine goes, quarantine, <laughs> five days of quarantine, I'm slowly going mad already. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying it. I do have my laptop, my new laptop, so I do get to enjoy that and I am getting out a bit I'm cooking a bit more um, and I'm spending less on like transport and stuff so you know money's going up I've got plenty of things around me to enjoy and I've got a few good people to communicate with to keep my spirits up and keep me happy so so far my spirits aren't broken I'm still feeling very very positive about the situation I've not cracked I've not gone insane yet but we have another two weeks to go so hopefully I'll probably update you as I go, maybe throw a random video up there every now and then of what I'm doing, but we all need to keep sane somehow and this is my way of keeping sane, so thank you guys for watching. I don't know what I'm doing anymore with this channel or what I'm doing with my life, so if you want to keep watching, that's up to you. If you want to keep subscribing, that's up to you. If you want to share it, that'll be fucking great. You don't have to, but it'll be nice. Um, and I'll try and do more. If there's more positive reaction to these videos to what I'm doing Then I'm gonna be more encouraged and more motivated to make more so But if there's nothing, you know, if it's dead, there's no comments, no no sharing, no likes, no anything Then I'm gonna be here like, well, what's the point? There is a point. I love doing it. I like venting. It's a good, it's a good strategy for my mental health So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later in the lockdown. You're not alone we can get through this.